man, this is over the top. I'm really nervous. I just want it to be over. To try to kill a sea hunter today. I don't know, it's kind of nutty, really. I've seen boat drops before, but ordinarily they drop them in the water, not on the pavement. If the boat doesn't sink, the boat will not crack. Here's a boat that's basically indestructible. Sea Hunter Boats has taken modern boat building to another high level. They're employing the most advanced materials and techniques available. And one of the primary reasons why Sea Hunter separates themselves from the rest of the competition is the construction of the boat. We still got a straight V. The boat is still a heavy boat. The boat is a safe boat by still being a V. You know, and then the Kevlar construction combined with the carbon fiber and the way it was designed to actually lift as the boat goes faster, it's just one of a kind and the public need to know that. The new Sea Hunter owner, first of all, he's gonna have a custom one-up boat for himself. There won't, there's no two Sea Hunters alike. So he's, got, he's gonna have a lot of pride and ownership of that boat. He's gonna be surprised how well that boat performs and how few problems he's ever gonna have with that boat. Our job is get him on the water and make sure he's happy and he has no issues with his boat. At the Sea Hunter factory near Miami, Florida, we saw exactly what makes this boat capable of handling our torture test. Sea Hunter skilled craftsmen painstakingly laminate the hull, bonding layers of glass and Kevlar, then rolling out every hull weakening air bubble. Proprietary foam core is precisely hand cut to fit, then laminated in to further stiffen and strengthen the Kevlar and glass. Sea Hunter builds every boat, from their 18-foot flats boat to their 40-foot center console, with the same painstaking process. In the end, each boat is a custom craft built exactly to their customers' high expectations. Well, it's time for the moment of truth. Mark, what the heck? I mean, we were out riding this boat yesterday. It was beautiful. And we're hoisting it up 20 feet off the pavement, and you're going to drop it on the pavement. I know it does seem a little bit extreme, <laughs> but we, we are totally confident that we build the strongest and safest boat available in the marketplace. And we thought picking it up and dropping it like this would be a great way to graphically demonstrate it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be impressed if it survives. So what's after this? So after this, actually, we're going to take the motors, put the motors back on it, and we're going to put it back in the water and sea trialer, just to prove how good and strong it still is. Well, if it floats after that, I'll drive it. Sounds great. All Look right. forward to it. Let's go. Just prior to the drop, a console and leaning post were quickly mounted for balance and aesthetics, but factory installation protocol was not followed in bonding them to the hull. Therefore, they may be compromised by such a drastic torture test. Okay, here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let her rip. Wow, over 100 G's at the transom and no major hull damage. 
I do not believe that. The yeah. sound of that, that it was, pow. It was really but, something. Like, like we're mostly looking, I'm saying cosmetic. Yeah, we were expecting gel chipping and we got honestly a lot less than I thought we would. Well, this is probably more grinding. It bounced three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went back and forth and, you know, we had a, a fabulous bond, obviously, between the resin and the gel coats. And I mean, it really held up well. I was shocked. Let's go out to the back and take a look at the transom. So you guys show me some transom plugs that you cut out of a boat and it's pretty thick material. So I'm not expecting to see much here. No, 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 the transom came out really nice and the plugs we showed you was this area right here. And it is, it's, you know, it's that thick of laminate there. And then you can see right there at the keel, I'm sure we had a corner load, a point load right there, but it's still, it held up incredibly well. Very, very little gel coat flaking off of it. You can see we got an excess of 75 G's of shock load from there. I guess it would have been a bad idea for me to ride it down. It would have been a very uncomfortable ride. With about four hours of labor, engines and console were remounted. We launched her, fired up the Yamahas, and in moments popped her up on plane and trimmed her out for full throttle speeds. The smooth ride after our extreme drop test gave me all the confidence a Sea Hunter could handle anything the sea could dish out. I'll tell you what, Mark, that was a hell of a ride. You know, I had no expectation when we dropped this boat and saw the sensors that it hit at 100 Gs, we'd be riding around in it some hours later. It was great. Everything went just like we'd hoped. So it was really, really good. Well, thanks for asking me uh, down for this. We're not quite done. Now we're going to cut the bow off and get you to run her again. You're cutting it in half and then I'm driving it. That's the fact. So out came the big saw. Believe it or not, it took over three hours to chop this tougher than normal hull. <laughs> So, it was back to the water to prove once and for all a Sea Hunter boat is unsinkable and built to take a beating. So Mark, I guess this is what I get for taking a dare. This is what you get. It's not nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be. Oh yes it is. After an impact that registered over 100 Gs, and after cutting it in half, the Sea Hunter hull proved seaworthy in yet another test drive. At least half of it did, anyway. All right, Mark. You made a believer out of me. Um, we're out here. Took about a two-mile ride. Didn't yeah, we get did. Wet. It's Didn't even quite... need to worry about my phone. It's been quite an experience. It's what I get for taking a dare. Thank you very much. Enjoyed sharing it with you. I'm glad I could be here. I'm Randy Vance. I'll see you out on the water with the rest of the boat. <laughs> <laughs>